Everyone learns Python, but almost nobody learns how to turn it into a real app. In the next couple of minutes, I'll show you how to build one with Kinter. Kinter is Python's standard library for GUI programming. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. Of course, if we want to use Kinter, we have to import it. So I will import Kinter and give it alias TK because that is a common practice. A cool thing about Kinter is it comes pre-installed. So you don't need to install anything extra. Let's start by creating a simple window. To create a simple window, we need a variable. A common practice is to name it root to remind us that everything that we write should be inside this root and that that root is our start, where our program runs. So we'll call tkinter module and call at tkinter tk class. This now creates our window, but we need to put a couple of things in our window. Every window has a title, so we should name ours by calling a title function. Let's name it my first GUI app. Also, every window has a size. If you want a fixed size that you have decided you need, you need to call geometry, this one here, function, and pass the size as a string where two numbers are separated with x. So my will be 300 times 300. First number represents width, second number represents height. And if I run this, nothing happens. My program ended, process finished with exit code zero, which means I didn't have any errors, but I didn't get what I want. I have no window. If you want your window to start running, you need to call root dot main loop. And this will start running the event loop inside our window. And now when I run the code, my window shows. In the upper left corner, there is Kinter logo and the title of my window, which is my first GUI app. And this is the size that I provided. Now let's add a label which is basically text displayed in the window. For that, I'll create a variable named label. And from Kinter module, I will call a label class. And now this label variable becomes label. Inside of these parentheses, I should pass some arguments. First one should be the window, which is root. Second one should be the text, for example. Let's name it hello and also the next one could be for example font font is passed as a tuple pair where first element inside a tuple is your font type for example arial and the second one is your font size let's say 16. again this won't run i mean this will run but you won't see your label to put your label in the window you have to write label.pack. And now when I run this, you see this hello label. Next, let's add a button that does something when clicked. I will create a function and call it say hello. And this function will change my label text when button is clicked. To change a label that already exists, you need to call the config function. And inside this function here, you can pass the text, which in my case will be button clicked. Exclamation mark. Now I need to create a button. I'll create a button variable, call the Kinter module and call a button class. Inside the button class, I need to pass my main window, which is root. I can also pass the text, which is the display that I will see on the button. For example, let's call it click me. And also I need to tell this button what to do when clicked. For that, we use command parameter. And here, in my case, it should call the say hello function, so I need to pass this say hello. But don't write the 
parentheses. It should be without them. And now, again, if I want to see my button on the window, I need to write button.pack. If I run this, I can see the label and also the button which says click me. And if I click it, the label changes into button clicked. If I click this more time, this will always be converted into a button clicked, but that is the same text as before, so we don't see any changes. Let's make it more interactive by adding an input field called an entry. So, again, I will create an entry variable called the Kinter module and from Kinter module called the entry class. And here I will now only pass my root because by default, this entry is actually a text box where user can write something. And it shouldn't have any text or do anything. It should simply have know that it is on root. If I want to display the entry, I need to write entry.pack. But this text box is useless. If I write anything, it won't change anything. It will simply allow me to write something on it. If I want to change my label into what this text says, I can simply create another button with another function. Let's call that function entry change and this entry will change the label into a text but first i need to get that text from my entry to do that i will use i first create a variable called user text and i will use get function from this entry object so entry dot get and this will get the text that this entry has and now I can change the label by writing label.config and text will be user text now. The only thing left is to create the button. I will name this button button2 and call the Kinter module button class. Inside this button class, I'll pass my root. Text will be entry change and the command this button should call is actually entry change function so entry change of course if i want to see this button i need to write button to dot pack when i run this i have two buttons click me entry change and this label and this here is entry which is simply a text box if i click click me this changes is to button clicked but here i can write entry changed me and now if i click this entry change button you see this label changed into entry changed me if i click this click me button again this again changes into button clicked This is all nice, but as you can see, whenever I put this label pack, entry pack, and button pack, everything is put at the middle, one below another. So for more control, we can use something that's called greet. So let's remove all these packs. Label pack, this button pack, this entry pack, and this button pack. And here I can write label dot grid and this grid has rows and columns it splits our window into a matrix where we can put our elements so let's put this grid in row zero and in column one let's put our button which is button two, no, our button into row one and column, column zero. And let's put this button two 
into row one, but column two. One, and let's put our entry in row zero and column zero as well. If I run this, you will see that my layout changed. I somehow made a mistake Colmun here I didn't name it the right way mm, also here I made a mistake of here as you can see this is our 2 by 2 matrix and in the upper left is my entry to the right is my label Below is click me button and entry change button. Here I can write anything. And if I click entry change, it changes. And if I click click me, it changes again. Also, you can see that all the colors are white, but you can change that as well. You can even put some pictures, but I will only show you how to change the colors. For example, I can write my label dot config to have foreground to be equal to let's say blue and my button to config and background to be yellow and also I can change the root config and write the background for root to be light gray and now when you run this as you can see my background is light gray this label has blue color for letters and this entry change button has yellow background Kinter can handle more events than just button clicks. For example, key presses or even mouse movements. So let's create a function named key press. And this function will write, will change my label, label into a key that I pressed on my keyboard. I mean on my keyboard. So label dot change sorry label dot config and text will be equal to f dot you pressed here and to see what key I pressed I need to call event dot char but I need to pass that event to my key press function so I will name it event. You will see in a moment how it works. And now if I want to call this function whenever a key is pressed, I need to call from my root bind function. And this bind function will bind a key. If you want some specific key, let's say, R, you can simply write here R or capital R, but if you want any key, you can write lesser than and greater than sign and inside here write key. And the second parameter is the function that you want to bind to. In this case, it's key press function. So here, bind connects the keyword so here bind connects the keyboard press event to our function so whenever you press a key it updates the label now when i run this everything works the same but when i print i mean when i press some key let's say y f you see 
how this you pressed changes. With every key I press, it writes me what I pressed. But if I click click me, you see this changes into but clicked. But if I click entry change, this will change this whole text into this text inside of my entry box. As you can see, it's completely inside here. Kinter is great for small to medium GUI projects, commonly used in creating control panels, small tools and beginner projects. Now you have everything you need, so let's put it into action. Go watch my video where I used Kinter to visualize our Python calculator and turn logic into a real GUI project. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next, because the upcoming tutorials are even better.